Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, it's gonna be another little short video about something that I'm I'm not sure everybody's even aware of. So this is the starting area. Everybody does know about this. You all pretty much know this is where it tells you to build your first base. I just have a little temporary base here while I'm running this character up trying to find all the recipes. My god, there's so many recipes. I love it. I think it's great how in-depth it is, but whew, it's a lot. Anyway, back here, I made a little something. It's not that special, but what is special is the fact that there are wildflowers here, and there would normally. It normally looks just like what you see right there. These wildflowers, if I go into my build menu, and I'm on here on terrain, if I go to this little circle right here, look at the right-hand side where it says farm soil, hold control, you got dirt, stone, dirt road block, and then I have flower soil. So if I want to, oh, let's go out this way a little bit, pop that, and now I have some more. This is something that will help to beautify your base, whether you're making little flower pots or you're just going all to town, man. You want a whole little field of wildflowers. You want, you want to protect the bees at all cost and I'm going to show you exactly where you can get this so starting here you come across Braylon Bridge and you come up to the ancient spire everybody knows about this you got to do it for a quest and then normally people will jump over here glide down they want to see what all because you see this big cathedral over here we're going to go over and take a look very close and this will give you the ability to really change up the look of your building. Um, also, while we are here, I am going to explain how in Early Access versus the demo, how this all works. We'll get to that after I show you the flowers. So right here in these flower beds, you can see I've done a little bit. You can't do these with the building hammer. You have to do it with the pickaxe. So if I come over here to this untouched spot and I go whack in a mole, flower soil. All right, so we got ourselves some flower soil. Now go back here to the builder. And even if I choose like this number six, like I want a big, big chunk of flowers, right? It only takes one. That is what's so awesome about it. So if I want to change this road surface to be flowers, no, sorry, build on top of it a little flowers. So we got a floating island of flowers now that only cost us one. Which is just outstanding. The The cost for value for what you're uh, mining over here is just phenomenal. While we are here, and, and by the way, this is all within my thing. But as soon as I get to this part here, both of these and both of these really long beds, they'll respawn every single time. Because they're outside of that flame shrine. The boundary of it. So our flame altar, excuse me. So I could come over here, nuke all of these, get all, and look, look at all this. I mean, there's just so much. It goes all the way down here. It goes over there. It's on the other side. There's so many flowers over here. The other thing, two things you can get over here. I'm sure everybody knows about the soil. You just come over, you grab your pickaxe, you come and you grab some soil. It helps to grow food plants faster. So corn and tomatoes and mushrooms and etc but what you can also get is this dirt road the dirt road will get, allow you to sprint with less stamina usage now you will get some dirt and you'll get some rock but you'll also get dirt road I got a little bit of dirt right there this is how it did work in the demo but it is not working with all the road surfaces as of right now. I must have learned dirt road at some point from something because I have not learned the other road surfaces and I, I'm unable to get the other two right now, which is a little concerning. Anyway, now if I come up here and I'm going to show you how you disassemble this, you must know the recipe first. And for the life of me, I can't remember where I got city block. So you come in, you go up here to the top one, this is how I do it, you do it how you do it, and I use the number four, and you can come up and just right mouse click and get all the blocks you want. 
Now, if I remove my altar, all of this will go back to exactly how it was. So you don't have to worry about destroying these buildings. And, oh, but I left an eyesore on the world. No, it'll all go back. It can be a little tedious, but there, there are ways you can set a macro on your mouse to do it. Now, also, there are those roof tiles that everybody loves. You also have to learn the recipe for it, but I can get up there and do those. In fact, let's build a little... Build a little staircase. We're going to go up there and check her out. Uh, da, 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 da. About. Turn, turn, turn. Let's start about here. All right. Oops, this way. And there we go. So now, if I go back up here and I do these, because I know the recipe, roof tile block. So I made a video about it, and I've had some more clarification since then. So the ways you can learn the recipe that I that are have been found, it is the final quest reward for the carpenter. Uh, but that's pretty deep in, in there. You're going to be doing that for a while. Probably a little bit higher level, maybe 14 to 18 or so, because you got to get into an area where there's 18s, uh, maybe even a touch higher. The other two ways, now apparently the other two ways are RNG. I'm not real happy with the fact that they're RNG, but at least there is a guaranteed way to get it later on, the quest reward. Number one, if you mine clay. I got it the first time on this character. There have been several others that have responded to me that they did not get the recipe by mining clay. The second option, if you look here, so... You can find the tower. This tower, Revel Woods Ancient Spire. Once you get up here, and I would say probably you want to be at least level seven, and maybe a touch higher, maybe nine, because all up and through here are nines and elevens. Uh, but somewhere kind of in that range. If you break the jars in the tower, you're going to get clay bricks. That is the second way of three that you can get uh, potentially learn the recipe for those roofs and then of course then the guaranteed way of doing the quest so i hope you liked it beautify till your hearts contend with these wonderful flower beds i don't think these were even in the demo i don't remember i mean the flowers were but i don't think i think we just got dirt when we dug them in the demo so props on the uh the uh, studio for adding these because this is a really cool touch thanks for watching